Hello and welcome to Forging Lasers. In today's episode, I'll be showing you how to make these wooden keychains. Remember that the text option on your Glowforge interface is only a feature that will be available to premium members. So that is something to take into account. But honestly, for about $14 a month, you'll get access to a lot of incredible benefits and they always keep adding new things. <laughs> There's vision. <laughs> Yes, they always keep adding new things. So it's definitely a plus to get that premium membership. Open your Glowforge dashboard at app.glowforge.com. Click the teal create button and click new blank design. I always like to select the material that I'll be working with under the materials panel. This will make it easier to see the layers on your screen. Click on the T to insert a new text. Write whatever name you want, and then you can select whichever font you want. I often get lost in all of the options for fonts, so have a lot of fun picking and choosing which fonts to use for your keychains. Once you are happy with your font, Click on the circle and square icon, which is the insert shape option. There are many different ways to create custom name keychains. For this specific keychain, I want the shape to conform to the shape of the name itself. And you will see what I mean when I go through the next couple of steps. What I want to do is create a circle. Now drag this circle to the beginning of the name. Using the dot in any of the corners of the circle, I will make this circle smaller. What you're essentially doing is creating the hole where your keychain and key ring will be hooked to. Once you are happy with the size of your circle, adjust it so that it is centered with your name. Select both the small circle and the name, and a white bar with options will appear on the right hand side of your screen. You're gonna click the first option, which should be create outline option. Click on the teal create outline button. Now you can use the adjust outline slider to make the outline however chunky or thin you want. Once you're happy with how the whole thing looks, hold down your mouse and draw a square from one side of your graphic to the next. This will select all of the layers at the same time. To make sure that your keychain is the size that you want, click on the ruler that is situated on the bottom left side of your screen. Now turn on your laser and wait for it to calibrate. In the Glowforge interface, move your keychain to any available space then select the print button. The Glowforge will always let you know how many minutes your project is going to last. And you want to make sure that you are noting these minutes down because they will be helpful for if you want to sell these items or if you want to keep track of how many hours you're spending lasering so that you'll be able to know when to deep clean your laser. All you do now is push the magic blinking button and wait. If you're going to be in the same room as your running laser, I suggest getting noise canceling headphones to protect your ears. I have an affiliate link to the ones I've used in the description below this video. Once the Glowforge is done, remove the masking tape. You can use duct tape for this step or a scraper like the one I'm using here. Thank you. 
Now all that is left is putting the ring and the keychain together and that's it. I hope you all enjoyed today's video on making your own custom name keychains on your Glowforge. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel for more awesome Glowforge content coming your way. I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hey. <laughs>